Just one day after being stripped of his gavel, the race to replace House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is heating up. Mike Emanuel has more from Washington on the lawmakers already in the running. With Kevin McCarthy out, the race is on to succeed him. And time is of the essence with all House business paralyzed until a new speaker is selected. We just need a strong uh, speaker, a strong leader, and we need to do the work of the American people. House Judiciary Chair Jim Jordan is the first to throw his name into the ring. The Republican from Ohio could face an uphill battle getting support from more moderate lawmakers. In his letter asking for support, he pleaded for unity, writing, quote, we can focus on the changes that improve the country and unite us in offering real solutions, but no matter what we do, we must do it together. Also entering what's expected to be a competitive race to the speakership, House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. The Louisiana lawmaker drawing on his 2017 shooting during a congressional baseball practice to drum up support. Quote, God already gave me another chance at life. I believe we were all put here for a purpose. This next chapter won't be easy, but I know what it takes to fight. Matt Gates, the Florida Republican who instigated McCarthy's ouster, claims he'd be fine with either of them. There would be no question that the House of Representatives and the Republican conference was in a stronger position than we were under the former speaker. President Biden also weighing in on the congressional chaos, saying Congress needs to focus on getting work done, including funding the government. We reached an agreement over the weekend. We cannot and should not uh, again be faced with an 11th-hour decision. House Republicans are expected to start voting for a new leader next week. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.